Hi, so for today, we're going to talk about differential equations. And for this video, we're going to talk about what is a differential equation. And we're going to talk about the terms order and degree of differential equation and some proof of solutions in differential equations. Basically, this is a video of an introduction all about differential equation. So let's get started. First, we need to define what is a differential equation. Uh, a differential equation, or simply denoted as DE, that's right, DE, is any equation which contains derivatives. So I suppose you are done already with your differential integral calculus because uh, differential equations, you will be using your concepts, again, recalling your concepts again in derivatives as well as the integral, okay? And uh, is any equation with con which contains derivatives, either ordinary derivatives or partial derivatives. So, in differential equation, we have so we have, we have what we call the the ODE or the PDE. ODE stands for the ordinary differential equations. These are the differential equation that has derivatives. Okay, uh, not partial derivatives, but a pure derivative. Okay, for PDE or partial differential equation, of course, from the word itself, it contains partial derivatives. Okay, differential equation is actually a very broad topic. And uh, here I have examples of differential equations in here. So we have here uh, this first equation, A multiplied by Y double prime, which denotes that Y double prime, oops, Y double prime is actually uh, the second derivative. So the second derivative of y maybe with respect to x. So that is the second derivative. This is also equivalent to y double prime as we recall our concept in differential calculus. So a, b, c is any constant here in this case and that is equal to g of t. And for the second one, we have some examples again of d. Oh, by the way, the number one is actually this number one equation of example of d is actually an ordinary differential equation. This is an ODE because it does not contain any partial derivatives in its uh, equation. Okay, so for number two, we have sine of y multiplied by the second derivative of y with respect to x, and that is equivalent to one quantity one minus one, or uh, and the derivative of dy over dx plus y squared times e raised to negative five y. Now, this is also an example of what? Is it a, an ordinary differential equation or a partial differential equation? Well, of course, we don't see any partial derivatives here in our equation. So, we can conclude that this is an ordinary differential equation. Okay? So, it seems complicated at first, but uh, as we go on on our lesson, you will actually... Uh, we would try to solve this kind of equation. We will be dealing a lot with this kind of equations. Okay, for number three, that is y raised to negative uh, y raised to four. Take note that this y raised to net four with a parenthesis here is not equivalent to simply y raised to four. Y raised to the quantity of four here denotes that it is the fourth derivative. Okay, fourth derivative of y with respect to some certain variable maybe it's x okay so for derivative of y plus 10 the third derivative of this y triple prime minus 4y prime the first derivative plus 2y is equals to the cosine of t and actually if we're going to analyze this again this is an ordinary differential equation because it does not contain any partial derivatives in the equation okay i hope you're getting what i'm trying to say here okay so for number four obviously this is a partial differential equation because it contains partial derivatives denoted by this symbol okay uh the partial derivatives so that is an ode and pde that is the two type of our differential equations we have the ode ordinary differential equation and we have the partial differential equation. So we have what we call, in order for us to fully understand first before we solve, 
Psalm D, we need to understand a very uh, uh, important terms in DE. And that is what we call the order of the differential equation and this order of the differential equation and the degree of differential equation. What are these two terms? So the order, when we talk about the order, the order of the DE is the largest derivative present in the DE. Free from square roots, okay? Free from square roots, free from the inside function of a transcendental function. Of course, that is the order D, the largest derivative, the highest derivative of the equation. Okay? That's the order. How about the degree? The degree is actually, the degree of the DE is the order of the DE. So, the degree of the DE okay, is defined as the degree of the order of the DE. For example, we have this kind of equation, uh, second derivative of y with respect to x, let's say multiplied that by certain uh, variable uh, t, plus okay, 3 is equals to uh, g of t. Okay? Let's say, so the order of this de is actually the largest derivative present in the equation. So in this case, what is the largest derivative? It's actually, its order is what? Second order. Why? Because in this equation, we, are, we only have one derivative. And that is the second derivative of y with respect to x. So we say that that is in second order because it is the largest derivative present in the equation. And the degree, what is the degree now of the DE? The degree of the DE is actually the degree to which the order of the DE is raised. So, if this is our order, second order, what is the exponent of this? Well, of course, that is 1. So, our degree is first degree. Okay, I hope you get the, the definition of the order of the D in the degree of the D. So, we will try to solve or we will try to uh, uh, practice by uh, finding out what is the order in the degree of a certain D. Okay, I have so many examples here and let's try to determine what is the order and the degree of the differential equation. So, for number one, uh, here are our exercises, and this is the, the instruction. State whether the DE is, uh, of course, is ODE or PDE, and state its order and at the same time the degree. So, for number one, we have this differential equation. Okay. So, since this differential equation does not contain any partial derivatives, then definitely our answer is this is an ODE, ordinary differential equation. Well, how about the order in the degree? First, you need to determine the order. So, the order of this differential equation, since this is second derivative, the order is actually what? order of 2 or second order, okay? And its degree is the exponent of the order. So, the exponent here, in this case, this is 1 or first degree. So, in other words, this differential equation <coughs> is uh, has an order of 2 and a degree of a first degree, okay? So, for number 2, we have here, this differential equation, so we have this x squared plus y squared dx plus 2x dy is equals to 0. Okay, how do we know the order and the degree? First of all, uh, we need to multiply the whole equation for us to see this. We need to multiply the whole equation by 1 over dx so that we can determine the dy over dx. If we do that, what will happen? x squared plus y squared, dx will cancel, plus 2xy. So we have now the dy, the dy here, over dx is equals to 0. And then we're going to determine what is now <coughs> the order or degree of this. First of all, this is an ODE because it does not contain any partial derivatives in it. 
and uh, we have here a derivative. Oh. Our order should be first order, okay, or order of 1. And our degree is, again, the exponent of our order, and that is also first degree. So our answer is ODE, first order, first degree. Order of 1, first degree. Okay? So for number 3, we have here, it's very obvious. So this is an ODE. Of course, what is its order? Again, from this equation, what is the order of, of this equation? That's A. Order three or third order, okay, and the degree is actually what first degree, okay, and of course, for number four, this is a partial differential equation because it has a par partial derivative here, and of course, this has a two here, so its order is actually what. Yes, that's a order of 2. And our degree is what? First degree. Okay, I hope you can actually uh, <coughs> follow my uh, lesson here. Okay, I hope you are not lost. Okay. <coughs> so, okay, I know it's easy. We're going to, uh, we're going to uh, tackle a little bit hard topic when we go on solutions of DE. Okay, for number 5, we have, of course, this is an ODE, Ordinary Differential Equation, because, it, again, it does not have any partial derivative. It doesn't contain any partial derivatives in its equation. So, and what is the order? Okay, that's the order. That is a second order differential equation. And what's the degree? Well, of course, degree, the degree is first degree. Okay, for number six, for number six, we need to be careful in determining the order and the degree of this differential equation. Okay, <clears throat> what is this? This is an ordinary differential equation. Okay, now my question is, what is the order? Think about it. You might say that the order is a third order or third degree, order of, uh, order of three. But definitely, as I've said a while ago, that the order depends on the highest derivative not inside a transcendental function, but ex uh, ex existing as an independent differential or derivative. So, in this case, sign of the third derivative of y with respect to x. No, this is not the order of this the order of this differential equation is not 3 because the derivative is actually inside the transcendental function. Okay? When this happens, this is not counted as the order of the DE. But rather, if we look at this on the right side of the equation, we have dy over dx here. And this, is, this exists as independent, free from radical, and not inside the transcendental function. So therefore, we can say that the order of this differential equation is a order of 1. And its degree actually is first degree. <clears throat> okay, please remember that. Okay? We cannot actually choose uh, 3 as, an, as our order. Why? Because again, the derivative is inside a transcendental function. Okay, that is not our degree. But rather, uh, if we choose, okay, if we choose the derivative existing as its own derivative, as an independent, free from radicals, and not inside the transcendental function, that's the order of our D. Okay. For number seven, actually, uh, this is an ODE. Again. Why? Because uh, it does not have any partial derivatives inside the equation. And again, <clears throat> in order for us to determine the degree and order of this differential equation, we need to somehow modify the equation or simplify the equation. If I'm going to square both sides of the equation, we shall eliminate the square root. 
And this will be our answer. dy dx squared <coughs> plus 3y is equals to the second derivative of y with respect to x squared. <coughs> now, okay, you can now determine the order and degree of this differential equation by actually <coughs> eliminating the radical. That is the rule. If you see a radical, eliminate first the radical and then <coughs> find the order and the uh, order and the degree. So we're going to analyze this. Our order now will be what? Order is now what? The highest derivative. Of course, we have a second order, order of two, because of this. Okay, this is a second derivative, while this one is a first derivative. Now, what will be our degree? Well, of course, as I have said, the degree is actually the exponent of the order. So, if this is our order, what is the exponent? That's a second degree. Differential equation. Okay, moving forward. So, we have this equation again. <clears throat> this is an ODE. Because, again, it does not have any partial derivatives inside the equation. And, of course, uh, there's no problem in determining the order or the degree here because we don't have any square roots. Okay? And of course, if we're going to determine what is the order and the degree, the order actually is what? The order is second order. Order of two. And how about its degree? First degree. Okay, don't be tempted to actually think that this is the degree, okay? Because actually the degree is the exponent, again, of the order of the difference or the differential equation. And in this case, this is our order. Its exponent is actually 1, so we got this answer. And for number 9, lastly, we have this expression. We have to square first both sides of the equation so that we have 1 plus dy over dx squared is equals to y squared third derivative of y with respect to x squared. Okay? If we reduce this differential equation into this, if we eliminate the radical, then we can say now that we are safe now to find the order and the de or the degree of this differential equation. By the way, this is an ordinary differential equation. Okay, so order. What is the order? That is order of 3 because of this third derivative. And the degree is actually second degree. <laughs> okay? That is the order and the degree of our differential equation. Now, let us try to move on now in solving or showing a proof of solution of our differential equation. So, for our example, we have four examples of our computations for this video. We have the number one, show that <clears throat> y of x, x raised to negative 3 halves, is a solution to the DE 4x squared y double prime plus 12xy prime plus 3y is equals to 0 for x <coughs> greater than 0. As I said a while ago, in, the, in studying differential equation, you will be recalling your basic differential calculus and maybe integral calculus for the latter part of our discussion. And in here, what are we going to do in this differential equation is to prove that this y of x, x is equals to a uh, y of x equals to x raised to negative 3 halves is a solution for this differential equation. What do we mean by that? If we are going to perform, <coughs> uh, uh, if we're going to substitute this value into this differential equation, it should result to a zero. Remember in your algebra, if a certain value of x is a solution to that polynomial given, 
the the answer should be zero. It should satisfy the equation. Here, it's the same. Solution. When we talk about solution, it is actually, let's say, in a polynomial, that is a root. That would equal to zero. But in this differential equation, it is also called a solution. But the difference is that this differential equation actually involves derivatives. So what are we going to do? First, the solution, in our solution, okay, since we know y of x, or simply y, and that is equal to x raised to negative 3 halves. We know that we need to get the first derivative because this is y prime. This is first derivative. And the second derivative of this y if we are going to find the solution for this differential equation. So, again, if we get the first derivative, <coughs> we have negative 3 halves x negative 3 halves raised to negative 3 halves minus 1. And that is negative 3 halves x raised to negative 5 halves. That is our first derivative. And take note that in our differential equation, we should also get the second derivative, y double prime. So this is the first derivative. What will happen? By power rule, we have negative 3 halves multiplied by negative 5 halves x raised to negative 5 halves minus 1. And we are going to simplify this. So, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, 15 over 4, x raised to negative 7 halves. And after we do that, well, of course, we're going to plug in this y prime and y double prime in our equation, in our differential equation. So, what will happen is this. We have 4x squared. Y double prime is 15 over 4, X raised to negative 7 halves, okay, plus 12X times Y prime, which is our Y prime is negative 3 halves, X raised to negative 5 halves, okay, plus 3 multiplied by Y, which is this, X raised to negative 3 halves, and that is equal to 0. So, simplifying this, we have 4s will cancel, okay? So, we have 12 over uh, 2, and that is 6 here, 6 in here. Then, yeah, we need to simplify this. So, what will happen here is that uh, 15 x squared multiplied by x raised to negative 7 halves, okay, plus, uh, or rather, that's minus because 6 times negative 3 is negative 18, x raised to 5 halves, plus 3x raised to negative 3 halves equal to 0. Now, <coughs> we're going to simplify this, 15x squared multiplied by x raised to 7 halves, well, of course, we need to what? We need to actually uh, add these two. So what will happen is 15, okay, x, 2 minus 7 over 2, okay? We add, y, we add here, we add the exponent. Uh, there's no addition here because of the negative. So we have negative 18x raised to negative 5 halves plus 3x raised to negative 3 halves is equal to 0. And performing this, we have 15. 2 times 2, 4, 4 minus 3, that is x raised to negative 3 halves minus 18x raised to negative 5 halves plus 3x raised to negative 3 halves. Now, if we're going to combine like terms, okay, 15x raised to negative 3 halves plus 3x raised to negative 3 halves minus 18x raised to 5 halves. <coughs> so, what do we have here? That is equivalent to 0. Of course, this is not 5 halves, but rather this is 3 halves. So, if you're going to simplify this, 8x raised to 3 halves, 18x, I mean, 15 plus 3, minus 18x raised to negative 3 halves is equal to 0. And definitely, these two will cancel. So, we have 0 is equal to 0. And that only proves that this given function of y of x 
is equals to x raised to negative 3 halves is a solution for our DE, given DE here. Why? Because it satisfied the equation. 0 is equals to 0. So, therefore, y of x, okay, y of x ra uh, <coughs> is equals to x raised to negative 3 halves is a solution. Okay? We have only, we only verify that that given uh, function is the solution for our differential equation. <clears throat> so, let us try to verify uh, <clears throat> some uh, functions in our DE. So, we have this given DE is equals to zero. And we, we need to verify that this y is equals to e raised to negative 2x is a solution to this de. Okay? Again, we need to verify that this y is equals to e raised to negative 2x is a solution for this differential equation. Again, our solution would be y is equals to e raised to negative 2x. We'll get the third derivative after the third derivative because we have here the third derivative of y, y triple prime. So we have y prime, that is negative 2, e raised to negative 2x. y double prime is <coughs> 4, e raised to negative 2x. y triple prime is actually negative 8, e raised to negative 2x. Okay? And what are we going to do? We simply substitute this y prime, y triple prime, or and y to this differential equation. So let's see. So our equation would now be <coughs> negative 8e uh, raised to negative 2x minus 3 multiplied by y prime negative 2e raised to negative 2x. Okay? plus 2y, which is e raised to negative 2x, is equals to 0. So what will happen? We have negative 8e raised to negative 2x, negative times negative, that would be positive 6e raised to negative 2x, plus 2e raised to negative 2x, and as you can see, this would satisfy the equals 0. So this can be written as plus 8e raised to negative 2x. So this is a negative 8e raised to negative 2x plus this. That should be equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 0. We verify that this function is a solution. Therefore, y is equal to e raised to negative 2x is a solution to our DE. Okay? <coughs> Down to our third example, for us to be practiced here in uh, verifying the solutions of DE. So, for number three, verify. Again, this is the same question. That 3E raised to 2X, negative 2X plus 4E raised to X <coughs> is a solution of the differential equation y triple prime minus 3y prime plus 2y is equal to 0. It's actually the same. Okay? The, the differential equation is actually the same from the, <coughs> from the uh, example above. So this is another solution. Okay? Just like in our polynomials, if we had two roots, then definitely that would still satisfy our equation. Okay? The same for differential equations. So... <clears throat> Let's try to solve this again. So for y, we have uh, <clears throat> 3 raised to e, uh, 3 e raised to negative 2x plus 4 e raised to x. So we need to get up to the third derivative. <clears throat> y prime is negative 6 e raised to negative 2x plus 4 e raised to x. Y double prime would be 12e raised to negative 2x plus 4e raised to x. Okay, and y third derivative would be <coughs> negative 24e raised to negative 2x plus 4e raised to x. Okay, again, 
we substitute it to the original differential equation. So now we have, oops, let me just rewrite this on the lower side so that we'll have enough space. So we have y triple prime, that is negative 24e raised to negative 2x plus 4e raised to x. That is our y triple prime minus 3 times the y prime, which is negative 6e raised to negative 2x plus 4ex. <coughs> plus 2 uh, multiplied by the y, which is simply 3e raised to negative 2x plus 4e raised to x is equals to 0. Simplifying, we have negative 24e raised to negative 2x plus 4e raised to x. Distributing this, so we have plus 18e raised to negative 2x minus 12e raised to x. Okay, minus 12e raised to x plus 6e raised to negative 2x plus 8e raised to x is equal to 0. <laughs> and again, if we combine like terms, so we have negative 24e raised to negative 2x plus 18e raised to negative 2x plus 6e raised to negative 2x. So as you can see, 18 plus 6 is 24. We need to minus that into this, so definitely that would cancel. So plus 4e raised to x, <coughs> 4e raised to x, and uh, minus 12e raised to x plus 8e raised to x is equal to 0. So if we are going to simplify these equations, so we have negative 24e raised to negative 2x, 18 plus 6, that is 24e raised to negative 2x. As you can see, these two would cancel. Okay, and 4e raised to x plus 8 is simply 12e raised to x minus 12e raised to x equals to 0. Definitely, this given equation or function is a solution of our V. So therefore, uh, a solution. Okay, so the given y is actually a solution of our differential equation. And down to our last example, for our last example, this is the easiest one, okay? So we need to verify, <coughs> verify that the solution of the given de <coughs> Second derivative of x with respect to t plus k squared x equals to 0 is uh, this, x is equal to sine kt. So we need to determine here the, again, the second derivative of this x. So let's try. So for our solution, we have first we need to get the sine kt, that's the given. We need to get the first derivative. <laughs> okay, with respect to t, that would be k cosine kt. The second derivative, x double prime, would be negative k sine kt. And uh, inputting this two in our uh, <coughs> differential equation, so what will happen? Second derivative of x with respect to t is this. So negative k sine kt, that is this term, plus k squared. k squared is actually a constant, okay? Multiplied by x, which is our x is sine kt is equal to 0. And obviously, okay, obviously, okay, wait, this should be k squared, negative k squared. I'm so sorry. And obviously, Negative k squared is sine kt plus k squared sine kt, that should equal to 0. Okay, so 0 is equal to 0, then therefore, sine of kt is equal to x is a solution of that differential equation. Okay?
So, thank you so much for listening. This is an introductory video all about differential equation and I hope you learned something. See you again on the next video. God bless you.